welcome everybody today we are in Zeewolde with German Schaefer and we're gonna do something with five songs today and we're going to start right now. Vamos! Vamos! You like it? You like it? Good match. We have the biggest giveaway ever, ever, ever on this YouTube channel worth of 1500 euros full of a, like a paddle package and how to win it you have to watch to the end of the video and I post the clip there. This system you uh, used from golf. Well, was inspired, inspired a little by bit golf. by golf. So the idea is that I realized that many times making decisions on the court is a little bit difficult because we have too many things to choose from. Yeah. So I try to create a system that depending on which area of the court we are, we reuse those choices to maybe two, three rather than five, six. Yeah. So then it's going to be a lot easier uh, to make decisions. This system is a, a system that makes everything easier. Exactly. Then as we get better and better, maybe we can adjust that to the level. Yeah. But this system could be easily applied for beginners to competition players. Okay, for every level. Yes. Okay. Let's I want see. to hear the secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> if we are defending, we want to be more or less one step behind the line, yes, and on line with the black post, as usual, yep. right? Now, the system is not that I have to be on these zones, but once the ball takes me there, what should I choose to do? Okay? So, we start with this zone. Many times we are playing on this zone. This is probably the worst place to be on the court. Okay. Because the opponent has a long time of reaction, we are very far from the net, so it's not a great place. And normally if I'm here, the ball is not going to be very easy, actually. Is this a play where I can win the point? No. No. So, winners out of the table. Yeah. All right? So, what are my options here? What do I want to do from here? Well, my main priority is to put the ball in. What I want is to give myself time to get out of this yeah. bad position. Yeah. Ostia, posizioni. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So, it comes down to two choices. A straight middle speed ball, high enough to make sure I don't fail, or if the ball is more or less okay, a lob. Yeah. To create right? time. Exactly. Yeah. If you also accelerate, uh, you don't have time to get there. Exactly. Yep. If I play a fast ball, I will be able to come here maximum. Yep. So this would be zone one or... Zone one. That's why the cone, the, the cone is orange. This is danger. Danger. Orange. This is danger. Oh. I mean, it should be red, but I don't have a red one. Sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> so, next zone. This is where I want to be when I'm defending. From here, still winners should not be an option. No, but a lot of people do it. Try yes. to do it. And that's why that takes you to making a lot of mistakes. Would you play a Chiquita from this position? Mm. For me, again, from here, what is my goal? Yet yeah, maybe to get to the net? Maybe to get to the net, yes. So what is the easiest and simplest way to get to the net? A lob. A lob. So as long as the ball let me, a lob is always a good choice from here, yeah. right? Now, what kind of other shots can I play? Well, like neutral shots, like middle balls in different directions. Or fast to the body? Sometimes. Okay. Could be an option. Would you play short cross to defense from this position? Not really. No. Okay. Because I can open angles for being attacked there or here. So So you will you will you will still say that your opponent has a lot of time to respond? Yes, and more important, my opponent has the advantage. He's at the net. They are the net, the net, yeah. So let's not forget about that. No, so of course, yeah. They are attacking, I am defending. Yeah. So what do I do when I'm in the defense? I defend and I will try to play in places to force them to have a ball here. Yeah. So maybe softball to the feet, so they, they have a contact point lower than the net, and then it's time yeah. to uh, go forward. Middle ball, man, not too short either, just normal balls so yeah. they can have normal volleys. If they volley too hard, that would be good for me. If maybe they volley a little bit short, so not even too low. If they have the ball a little bit high, yeah. they might go down. Yeah. And then? You have a short ball. Yeah. And you I have a higher. take it before the glass. Exactly. Yeah. If I play low, they might go deeper. Okay.
Let. But the important thing is that not to accelerate the pace. Would you folly from here sometimes if you have the chance? If they play a floating folly? Mm, sometimes, but I will make a step to take it. Yeah. Really. So you rather do that when you're even closer? Exactly. So remember, we're not speaking about my position. We're speaking about the position of the ball. Okay. So if I'm contacting the ball here, yeah. My choice will be a straight ball. Yeah. Or a high ball. Because you can manipulate this. You can you can have your position here, but it's not at the correct moment. Yes. So, what is the goal here? Either to play a lob, to send them back and go, or to force them to give me a short ball. Once I have that short ball that allows me to be kind of here or maybe here, then I can really start my counter-attack. Okay. So, With again, a chiquita. either a chiquita or either a lob. If I'm playing against big hitters, yep. A lot from here might not be such a good idea. No. But a lot from here is different. Yeah, so if you play against very good smashers, you need better. more patience to be in the, at least in zone two, to play the lob. Yes. Ah! Oh, lucky you, bastard. <laughs> I went up. Once I'm in zone three, and you see it's quite a big one, right? You wouldn't call this no man's zone, or the... I don't like that phrase. No? I like more transition zone. Transition zone, okay. Because I'm starting my transition towards the net. It's the time that I will try to go for a chiquita. Okay. If I see my opponents too close to the net, love. If I see some space with not too much risk, yeah. More middle, etc., or in the feet of the opponent. Yeah, I play, and I keep going. Very fast fo folly from them, and I can. I have a contact point more or less here. Mm -hmm. I should to take it and then decide my decision on this shot. Yes. Example: a fast ball here. I can only do that. I will do this. A ball that is coming a little bit slower. I can manipulate the ball flow. I will continue. I don't want to stay for more than one shot here. Sometimes I have to, but okay. my intention is not to be here. Okay. It's to cross this area. If I stay here, I can always use the wall. But once I'm here, the wall is no longer There's an option. There's no way back. Exactly. So, <clears throat> once I'm here, this is an okay place to be for attacking. But still, would you try to win the point from here? No. No, so winners, <laughs> Nein, niet, nech. No. Nee. Nee. All right. So what can I do from here? Well, I want to prepare the shot. So uh, now the you point. start to build up. So now I'm in the attack area, and I'm starting to think about how can I score. So still, you're in the attack area, but you're not playing a winner. No. But I can play some vivoras, some bandejas. What I want is to do something more. Yeah. I want to force the opponent to give me a short low. From here, what kind of shots? Deep, good volleys, good bandejas or víboras, and then this is the winner's area. Now we made it. In, Eventually. In front of the first post? Yes. This area can be adjusted to my level of play. Yeah. But for sure, when the ball is floating here higher than the net, you can score. You have to. No, you can. You have to go. Come on. It took me forever to get here. Yeah, so yeah. once I'm here, I'll go for it. Yeah. Okay? It's not that I want to stand here. I'm in my place. The ball is there. Then I go for the ball. I will not be waiting here for the winner. No. Because from here, they can pass me. They can play fast. I have no time. What kind of shots? Well, the best winner is the smash. I might not have a good smash. Fast víbora. Fast bandeja, fast volley, short one. Yeah, drop shot. Whatever. Yeah. 
Okay. But you have to play with the intention of winning the point. 60% of the people would already play a winner behind this, this cone. Or there. Or there. <laughs> See? Yeah. So it's very important to know where we are and to know what is the goal in each place. Yeah. And this will make you to have less options, so you're more sure what you have to do. Yeah, but even more important, you will know the things that you should never try from there. Yeah, okay, yeah. I have the ball here. I try Chiquita there, a super passing shot, and I missed. I didn't hit it right. Two, three points later, I didn't hit it right. No, it's just the wrong choice. You can hit 100 balls, and maybe one goes in, but that would be luck. And it so, will actually make you feel worse, because it feels like you're, like you're not good enough, or your technique is not good, or you're not a good player. Yes, but the, what they don't realize is that they're making bad choices. Yeah. So this is what this system is all about. Yeah. To help you to know what can you expect and what can you try to do and what should you not try to do. Yeah, I think if I hear what you say, I think it's better to cross things off your list exactly. to, to add things to your list. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay? This area, for example, you have a powerful smash. So if you have a powerful smash, this area can be bigger. Uh, okay. Yeah, and if I'm in Madrid or it's super hot, it's summertime, <coughs> you can put this cone further and further away. Exactly. How do I know? Simple. If I smash from here and I win 80% of the points or more, I can try to go further. Yeah. I, in the training, I've been hitting the smash very well from here. I have the confidence to know that it's the right choice because many times we're not committed. Should I not? So that's another advantage. It gives you a lot more confidence and commitment yeah. with the shots. Yeah. So now we're going to build it up the other way around. So if I'm in the net and I get a lob, right? And I'm playing a bandeja, from here, don't. No. Let it pass. Yeah. If I'm playing from here, I'm still in a bad zone. Yeah, it's not amazing. So for a bandeja, this is the red zone. This is the danger zone. It's like being there. And do you cross off Fibora from that list? From there? Mm, depending on the level. OK. OK? What I'm trying to say is that here I'm going to go for a safe shot. So, winners off, off the, the table. table again. I'm not on the winner's area. No. So, should I try to put pressure and play? Not, not so really. Much. I'm very far away from the net. And let's not forget that first I have to move to get there. So I'm going to be moving. Around. So what is my priority when I'm here? Yeah, to get to the, to the yellow, to the second post. Even before that, to get the ball over the net. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So priority number one, get the bloody round thing in. Yeah. How? High. Why high? Because my main obstacle is the net. So I need to stay away from that risk. And I think most people might need to go for the corner and not from the middle from here. Yes. That's the next thing. Where? In the corner. Why? Because I'm not going to be able to execute the shot correctly. The walls will keep them there. Plus, since he has some angle, it's going to be more difficult for the opponent yeah. to get it. So from here, try to play in the corner, quite safe. You could say the feet of your opponent, the body of the opponent, and a, a soft and high bandeja. If you feel more confident with the víbora, OK, a slow and high, easy víbora. It's OK. The shot you trust more, OK? Yeah, because you need to play this one in. Yes. And you want to play slow because you need time. So the contact to... point also will change depending on how close yeah, or how it, far you are from the But it net. will be quite high, actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it's safer. Exactly. Yeah. How much court do you see? A lot. And how high is the net? Yeah, here. Very low, right? Yeah. How much court do you see? 
Yeah, less. And then the, the net is it higher. Seems to be higher. Yeah. Let's get back. It's still 91 centimeters. How, I mean, you see more court than me. Of course, you're yeah. taller. But you see, you see a bit of the court. Yeah. And the net has gone higher. Yeah. So I should be trying to aim at the court that I see. Yeah. Because if I try to bounce it short, I'm going to hit the net. Yeah. If I'm playing a bandeja more like here, well, still not an amazing place, but I have more court. And the net is a bit lower. So maybe I can go a bit lower. I can put some more spin. Or maybe to the center. Yeah, but still, the ball can bounce back. The yeah. center, you see it a lot on the World Pile Tour, and I like it. But you have to have a really good skill to feel the ball and to slow down the ball. Yeah, Let's not forget, this... yeah, because the ball is high. Yeah. So it will tend to come up again. If I'm playing a volley, it's different. But when I'm playing from high, I would try to stay away from the three glasses in the middle. So you would say that uh, the corner is also a safe zone. So if Absolutely. you're in trouble and you play more to the corner... Yes, it's... because also the court is longer. Yeah, so you make less mistakes. The ball has to bounce against the glass maybe twice. Maybe people get stressed because they have to take it before the glass because they don't want to use the corner. I can go maybe a little bit faster. Yeah. Because I'm closer, I don't need so much time. Yeah. Also, since I'm closer, my opponent has less time of reaction. So if I play a bit faster, I'll stress my opponent more. Yeah. If I play fast from there, I'm not going to stress them. They have a lot of time of reaction. Yeah, I understand. Yes? Now, once I'm here, well, we say we want to start preparing the point, no? So from here, yes, I can go even faster, maybe a more aggressive angle, or maybe a little bit more slice. I can do more things because I'm in a good area now. I'm in the spot. I don't need to come back here. So when you play from here, I can try maybe to go a little bit faster and deeper. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, it's useless, your partner. It's not the winner's zone, man. No. It was not a winner. My opponent is a bit slow. Oh, Yeah, this is very useful for people that get a little bit overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And I also think that people need to know where they are on the court. Because not everybody is aware on where they are positioned on the yes. court. And if you don't know where you are positioned on the court... That will lead uh, you to bad decisions. Yeah, you can never make good decisions <coughs> if you're not in the right position. Yes, yeah. especially if you don't know where you are actually. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so it's not weird. It's, it's not that people that are watching and say, yeah, I don't know where I am. It happens a lot. It happens, but you can get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not a bad idea that you play a match with friends or some, and you put the cons around. You play, you forget about the cons. But if you make a mistake, don't move. Check where you are yeah. and think about what you have done. Example, let's say I smash from here. I smash and I fail. I look there. Oh, I'm here. Oh, I smashed. I shouldn't smash from here. I should smash from there. No, you can really check what you have done. Exactly. So don't get obsessed and think and check afterwards. With, and check with your partner. Afterwards, check. Yeah, afterwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When is a good moment to play a bajada and when not? If I'm quite far here, it's not great to play a bajada. Because you no, don't have space. Yeah, and they have a lot of time of reaction and the net is higher. So from here, I will kind of play either straight or low once again. Yeah. So, but if the ball is coming out more high like this, and I'm more like in this area, then I can take a little bit more risk. Or make an angle. Or do something more. Mm -hmm. Because then we're speaking about ball extremely high. Yeah. Yeah, that makes the, that's the exception to the rule. High, uh, high exactly. Shot. High and uh, especially high and soft yes. shots. Yeah, and okay. the better you are, the more this can change. Exactly. Yeah. That's why you see LeBron smashing from there, or Galan, or Tapia, yeah. etc. Is this the same on the right side? It is. Yeah, because it's not that the right side player always builds up for the left player. Uh, it c they can also do the other way around. I mean, you see player like Dineno, like Chingoto, that everybody was saying, okay, they have an amazing defense, they prepare the point very well, but. When the opponent is in trouble, they play a lot with them. What are they doing now? They're building up the body, they're building up the smash, and you see now Chingoto and Dineno. Yeah, they smash. They smash from, from here now. Yeah. Because it's important that this player can finish the point as well. Yeah. 
So we prepare, we prepare. The opponent is laying in the ground. Ah, just play a lob in the right, you're safe. So it's not right to say that the forehand player only prepares the point. For me, it's not. No. They prepare, but sometimes they have to finish the point as well. Yeah. As I say, maybe the backhand player can finish the point from there, and this one only from here. Fine. But when he, he has his own winner's area, yeah. Maybe that winner's area is bigger than this one. Yeah. But still, there is a winner's area. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching the video. If you have any questions on this video, make sure to comment and to like, and also to subscribe because we make a new video every single Monday. Uh, thank you so much, German, for your time. You're welcome. A pleasure to be here. Yeah, it was good. We need to make more videos with German. So if you want more videos with German, let us know. And uh, thank you for save all the to use the court and uh, see you in the next episode. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios. Ciao. Ciao. This is our biggest paddle giveaway we ever did, worth of 1,500 euros. We're going to give tickets for the finals in Amsterdam uh, on the Sunday, which you can watch with me. I will be next to you. You can get a bidabidu outfit, a tactical paddle racket, and also a free private lesson, and also playing credits where you can play for free at a peak paddle location in the Netherlands. So how to win it? Like the video, comment, and you have to be a subscriber on YouTube to win this fantastic package.